the seventh Sunday after the Epiphany, year C. From the book of Genesis, God sent me before you to preserve life. In the name of the God of life, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings for this week present us with the image of Joseph encountering the brothers who had sold him into slavery. His brothers are dismayed because they expect him to kill them in revenge for their betrayal. What enables Joseph to do good to these men who have done him grievous harm? Well, first, Joseph recognizes that he has more power than his brothers. Joseph has risen among the Egyptians to become like a father to Pharaoh and is therefore able to give them the protection his own father was not able to give him. Joseph is not just protecting them as innocent victims, though, but rather he's giving up the opportunity to punish them for their misdeeds, because their misdeeds have been undone. Joseph doesn't stop there, though. Perhaps he's been reflecting for years that he would not have been able to save Egypt from famine had he not been enslaved there. Or maybe he's just recognizing the hand of God leading him through his calamities. That recognition enables him to gather his brothers and their father, their wives, and their children so that they might dwell in the land and feed on its riches rather than coming into poverty. Paul compares us to seed sown in dishonor and weakness, then raised in glory and power. Some of the power and glory God has chosen for each of us sprouts only as God accompanies us through dishonor and weakness. Let us therefore consider how God has led us through our own calamities. Let us notice how God has thwarted our enemies by transforming our trauma, even death itself, into an opportunity for receiving our heart's desire. Let us measure what we've given up when we've fled from the famine of revenge and return so that we might give thanks for the good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, that has been put into our laps from the infinite storehouse of our God. In the name of that same God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>